I'm Trevor Thomas from Thomas Electronics, 130 Thorold Road in Welland. Welcome to the first segment of our How To Series. In this series this, this time, we're going to discuss some of the commonly asked questions, like for example, which is better, plasma or LCD? Or what's the difference between 1080p and 720p? Let's start off with the discussion about plasma. Plasma is a product that is made up with millions of small light bulbs that are turning on and off, flashing in different colors to produce the picture. Plasma is a glass surface, and as a result, it can have some glare issues. You can expect, the well, according to the manufacturer, you can expect up to 30 years of performance from that TV at eight hours a day. Plasma as a product is good for many rooms because of its size and speed. Plasma is offering most cases 720 megahertz of speed, which is about seven times faster than the best LCDs. Why do you need that speed? Well, let's say you're a sports fan. Wouldn't you like to be able to see that puck move without any blurring? Again, this is some of the things that will cause some discussion between you and the salesperson that you're working with to help you choose what is the best product for you. Because really between plasma and LCD, it's really a personal decision and according to your room. Plasma, because it is a technology using light bulbs, does not have any off angle viewing issues. You could watch a TV like this almost sideways and still get a decent picture. Plasma will be a product that we'll see long into the future because contrary to many discussions, it isn't a power hungry product. It is only marginally more using of hydro than for example, a good quality LCD product. And as we move forward, we'll also see some further advances in that. All the Panasonic plasmas, for example, carry the Energy Star rating. So they, that means they are approved as energy conscious products. Now let's just talk about LCD. LCD is a technology that involves the movement of crystals and the movement of shutters to allow light to come through. If you picture, it's a lot like Venetian blinds or vertical blinds in how they reduce the amount of light coming through until a particular time. If you were to take and open and close the blinds, you would have the light passing through at a specific point, and that's how these work. They use little shutters opening and closing to allow light to come through from the backlit panel to produce your picture. Key things to choose when you're looking at an LCD is what is the contrast ratio, what is the speed of the panel, and what is the abilities of the panel. So for example, this TV here is a four millisecond refresh rate. It's a 10 bit panel, so it has a very fast processor. And to go along with that fast processing, it's 120 megahertz. The 120 megahertz is very similar to the processor in your computer. That is what enables your computer to do everything it does at a high speed. And when you're looking at the differences in contrast ratio, that's an important figure, but it's only one that you can have explained to you well on site because of the issues between manufacturers not using the same contrast ratio. When you're looking at these different TVs and technologies, another question that is often brought up is what's a better technology, a 720p TV or a 1080p TV? Now these two technologies of 720 versus 1080 also apply to plasma. This is the speed and the amount of lines on the actual television screen. Currently today, 720p television is all we really need unless you're into movies and high definition downstreaming of video from the internet. Now for someone who's interested in future proofing, we definitely recommend going to 1080p. 1080p television will also have better innards and better products and processors to be able to produce for you a better picture even when you're only watching up to 720p. But costing will be the difference there. So there's the difference between plasma and LCD, the difference between 1080p and 720p. But to really make the best decision for you, come on down to Thomas Electronics and let one of our trained professionals help you make that choice. Let us help you figure out what's best for you and for your family. And that's why we've been around for 45 years in the community, taking care of our customers and let us help take care of you too. Come on down to Thomas Electronics, 130 Thorold Road in Welland. And I'm Trevor Thomas, and we'll see you next time.